Okay, today we're talking about transitions. And here we have three types of transitions. Before explaining the types, guys, you should know that transitions are words or phrases used to express relationships. Here we have a relationship between two ideas. There must be one of the transitions. Yes, this is the only function of all transitions. We use them to express that there is a relationship. Okay, guys, the first classification or the first group of transitions. Here we have continuers by definition. We use continuers to express that. Here we have similar ideas. Okay, uh, so he here we have similar ideas. Yes, it's continue, continue relationship. So both ideas are almost the same. Okay, guys, uh, is it possible to find continuers anywhere? Yes, you're gonna find them on the same page. Just check what we have here in that table below. Guys, all continuers you need to know. For example, adding um, information about the same topic, we may use also and um, furthermore, in addition, moreover, giving examples. Still, yeah, we're talking about continuing relationship. Okay, so to give example, um, for example, or for instance, to define or to clarify, we may use effectively, essentially, in other words, that is, okay, to emphasize the idea. You know, it's the same idea. Okay, so we may use in fact or indeed. To compare, we may use likewise or similarly. Likewise and similarly, both are used to compare similar things. So we use them in continuous relationship. To express the sequence of events, you know, the chronological order of events, before, after, previously, subsequently, finally, while, all of them, all of those words are continuous. All of those words are used to do what? To express that, here we have, similar ideas. So guys, talking about continuers, you need to memorize them down there. Okay, everyone, here we have the first example. In this example, the used indeed. We just need to know why indeed? Why? Indeed, what could be the function of indeed? Going back to that table, guys, indeed, indeed. Yes, I have it here. Indeed is a continuer which is used to emphasize the idea. So it's a continuum used between two similar ideas. Guys, we need to read this example to identify what do we have here on both sides. Here we have our first reader. Mm, here we have Amr. Amr, let's check what do we have here on both sides of this transition. Is it used correctly between uh, similar ideas? Out loud, go ahead. Uh, Arana Ferana, a relative of the jellyfish, is one of the rare marine organisms to emit red light. Uh, indeed, only a few other deep sea creatures produce light that color. Okay, what do we have here in the first side, Amr? We are talking about what? Arena uh, Serena. What, what should we know about Arena Serena here? They emit uh, red light. Perfect. Now we're going to check the main focus of the second idea. They, they are talking about what? Uh, deep sea creatures. What should we know about them? They produce uh, light that, that color. In this case, what do we have here? Do we have similar ideas on both sides yes. or different ideas? Excellent, that's the point. So here, what type of transitions should we use? Continuous. Perfect, that's the point. Thanks, Amr. So here we have the first group and the function of the first classification of transitions. Guys, all of those words are continuous. We use them between similar ideas, okay? We must memorize all of them. We must memorize all of them, okay? The second um, classification or the second type of transitions. Here we have, again, by, by definition, contradictors, you know, contradictors, contradict comes, yeah, contrast, contradiction, they are contradicting each other. Yes, that's it. This is the meaning that we need to know here. This is the function, by the way. Okay, for contradictors, what should we know about them? They are used to express that. Here we have different or conflicting ideas. Yeah, two different sides. So that's why we name them contradictors. Okay, where to find them? Guys, check the same table, the second column. What do we have here? 
all contradictors you need to know. By the way, you already know all of them, but we just need to memorize them in terms of their classification. Okay, so here we have those words alternatively, although, though, but conversely, despite, in spite of, even so, even though. However, one of the most commonly tested transitions, actually, uh, in any case, instead, meanwhile, nevertheless, nonetheless, otherwise, rather, regardless, still, whether, while, yet, alternately, alternatively, by contrast, in contrast, on the contrary, on the other hand, all of those transitions are used to express that. Here we have different ideas. We have contradicting ideas. So in case we have contrast, it must be one of those transitions. Okay. Guys, here in, in this one, we, we have an example. In that example, the used however, however, is one of the contradictors. Yeah, it expresses contrast. So just to make sure that whatever is used here correctly, I need to check the ideas on both sides. So what do we have before? What do we have after? Let's take these two ideas. Our second reader, here we have Jenna. Let's check what we have here. Out loud, go ahead. Sorry, the mic was lagging. Oh. Um, an increased oh. reliance on computerized systems can leave individuals vulnerable to cyber attacks. However, current defenses are stronger than many people realize. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. In, what do we have here? In it's talking about the re uh, reliance on computerized systems mm -hmm. that and how it can like leave individuals um, vulnerable, cyber attacks. Yes, they could be cyber attacks. They could be cyber attacks. Second idea. Second idea. Second idea. Um, about how defenses are stronger than many people realize. Okay, in that case, okay, what do we have here? Case. We have similar ideas or different? similar ideas or different? It's different ideas. Perfect, so in that Perfect. case, so we in that case, we use? Contradictors. That's the point, yes. That's the point, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So here in that case, I have two contradicting ideas, two different ideas. So I need a contradictor. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? However, is it one of the contradictors? Yes. Done. Okay. Let's check the third type of transitions. Guys, cause and effect. Again, by definition, that means one idea is the result of the other one. Okay. Uh, cause and effect words indicate that one action is the result of another. Okay. That's good. Where to find them? Guys, check the third classification here in the same table. Cause and effect, we have accordingly. We have as a result, as such, because, consequently, for, hence, since, so, thus, therefore, to these ends. All of them are synonyms. All of them are the same. All of them are deserving the same function. To express that one idea is the result of the other idea. Okay. So... What do we have here in that example? Guys, the use therefore. Okay, what is the function of therefore? Back to the table, therefore, yes, I have it here. Therefore is cause and effect. It expresses that one action is the result of the other one. Okay, so now we need to check both sides. Is that true? Is one of those two actions the result of the other one? Let's check what do we have here. Our next reader, here we have Mariam. Let's check what do we have on both sides here in that example. Out loud, go ahead. The light from most uh, quasars was emitted 15 billion years ago. Therefore, they are a unique clue to how the universe looked when it was only a quarter of its present age. Okay, so uh, what uh, uh, caused how the universe looked when it was a quarter of its present age? Uh, the light from most quasars being emitted 15 billion years ago. Perfect. That is the reason. And here we have the result. So in that case, what are we supposed to use between these two ideas? We need to use cause and effect. Yes. One of the cause and effect transitions. One of those words. That's why here we have therefore. Thanks, Marie. That's the point. Okay. I have two ideas. One of them is the result of the other one. In that case, we need cause and effect. Okay, guys, 
What done with the function? So far, what done with the function? What done with the part that we have to memorize? I have three types, okay? And here we have all of them listed in that table. We must study them. Okay, we still have two more points to discuss and transitions. Um, punctuation and the process of answering those questions. Okay. But before explaining the punctuation patterns, guys, check what we have here by the end of that page. They said, don't forget to eliminate synonyms. Don't forget to eliminate synonyms. W what does that mean? Guys, I have a question. Testing transitions. And uh, let's say, for instance, here we have uh, something like as a result and accordingly. These are two options in the four answer choices. Accordingly and as a result. Guys, I have a question for you. Um, as a result and accordingly, are they synonyms? Yes or no? What do you think? Use the group chat. You may use the group chat here in Zoom, okay? You may text your answers here. What do you think? When we say, as a result and accordingly, are they synonyms? Perfect, Yusuf. That's the point. Okay, how to identify whether these two are synonyms or not? It's so simple. Guys, um, are, are, do they have the same function? Are they serving the same purpose? Do they have the same purpose? As a result, it's cause and effect. Accordingly, it's cause and effect. So in that case, in terms of their functions, accordingly and as a result, both are synonyms. Yes, Muhammad, perfect. Salma, they are synonyms. Both do have the same function. So synonyms. Okay, guys, another one. I have uh, something like thus and therefore. Are they synonyms? The question, do they have the same function? If yes, so they are synonyms. So thus and therefore, yes, these two actually are having the same, they, they do have the same function. So they are synonyms in this case. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Do not forget to eliminate what? Synonyms. Why? Guys, it's impossible to have two correct answer choices. In case we have synonyms, eliminate. Eliminate synonyms. Okay, everyone. Um, something like regardless and however. Are they synonyms? This is the question. Regardless and however. Are they synonyms? Yes or no question. Waiting for your opinions here in the group chat. Okay, how to answer this one? Perfect, Muhammad. Yes, how to answer that question, guys? Do they have the same function? Text your opinions here in the group chat. Mm, Saeed, what do you think? Taimur, what is your opinion for this one? However, and regardless, do they have the same function? Yes, they do. Perfect, that's the point. So in that case, however, and regardless, both are contradictors. They are used to express contrast. So both are synonyms. In case we have these two in the four answer choices, eliminate. Okay, guys, I have furthermore and moreover. Everyone, you have to text your opinions here, okay? Furthermore and moreover, are they synonyms? Do they have the same function? Why? Why should we identify synonyms? Because here we're going to eliminate the synonyms. Okay, so in this case, yes, I'm perfect. Of course, Muhammad, that's it. Guys, furthermore, we use it to do what? We use it as a continuer to add information. Uh, what about moreover? We use it, yes, as a continuer to add information. In this case, both are synonyms, eliminate. In case we have these two options in the four answer choices, okay? We're talking about having synonyms. We're talking about having synonyms in the answer choices. 
eliminate synonyms because it's impossible to have correct answers or two correct answers or more than one. Okay, guys, one second. We're talking about similarly and for example, both are continuers, but are they synonyms? For example, it's a continuer. Similarly, it's a continuer. Are they, is it possible to say both are uh, synonyms? So eliminate, is it possible? Excellent, Yusuf, that's the point. Muhammad, perfect, yes, that's it. Okay, Salma, we need to check their functions. For example, we use it as a continuer to do what? Similarly, we use it as a continuer, but to do what? Yes, Muhammad, good job. That's the point. Okay, so in this one, Hamr, what do you think? Jana, you have to text your opinion here in the group chat. Mariam, we need to do the same. I'm more waiting for your opinion here. Perfect. That's the point, Amir. That's it. So, guys, here in this one, if we're going to check, what do we have, guys? Similarly, and for example, both are continuers, but are they synonyms? Okay, Salma, in that case, for example, is used to give examples. Do we use similarly to give examples or to compare similar things? The question now, do they serve the same purpose? Do they have the same function? Both are continuers, but do they have the same function? Do we use both to give examples? No. Do we use both to compare similar things? No. Both are continuers, but here we have some other sub-functions for those continuers. So, for example, and similarly, both are not synonyms. In case we have these two, I cannot say that. Both are continuers. Eliminate them. No, 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 no. Both are not synonyms. Both are continuers, but not synonyms. So, we can say uh, the synonyms rule is applicable here in contradictors and cause and effect. But in continuers, we need to make sure that both are from the same group. So here, to add information, all of these transitions are the same. So also, and furthermore, in addition, moreover, these five transitions are synonyms. And in case we encounter any two of them, eliminate. But something like moreover, and um, finally, uh, are they synonyms? Do they have the same function? No, they are not. Moreover, we use it to add information. But finally, we use it to express the sequence of events. So in that case, they are not synonyms. In that case, actually, we cannot eliminate them. So guys, here in this one, we're talking about don't forget to eliminate synonyms. Don't forget to eliminate synonyms. Okay, I'm going to check. In case we have any synonyms, eliminate. Okay. Just to know it. Something like that, you'd be able to do it in just one second. Okay, you'd be able to eliminate the synonyms and only you'd be able to identify and eliminate synonyms in just one second. But that happens in only one case, which is by memorizing that table, guys. That table, it's very important. You must study it very well, okay? Everything you need to know about the functions of those transitions is here, okay? And that table, we must study it, okay? So the following part we're discussing, here we have how to punctuate strong transitions. How to punctuate strong transitions. What do you mean by strong transitions? Guys, we're talking about the, the transitions used to express relationships between two complete sentences. Okay, just check the, the, the following set of examples. Check the following set of examples. Okay, I have here uh, five examples. These five are exactly the same. Okay, these five examples are, yes, the same. But one second, what do we have here? 
it, it seems that there is something different here. Yes, actually it's the placement. It's the pattern of the transition. Now we're going to illustrate what does it mean, a strong transition and how to punctuate. Everyone, we're discussing the first example. Guys, please pay attention here. We have very, you know, slight differences, but we need to know them very well. And yes, they are tested here. They are tested here, okay? So if we're going to check, what do we have here? By the way, just check what do we have here in that question? Guys, check what do we have in that question? In this one, question 26, are they testing the transition itself? No, we have the same transition in the four answer choices. In that question, what are they testing here? They are testing the punctuation pattern. So you must be able to identify the acceptable patterns. Okay, so let's see what do we have here in this one. Guys, the first example, just check what we have here. I have my transition, however, placed between two complete sentences. Okay, I already know it. However, is one of the strong transitions and they are named strong transitions because they are able to express the relationship between two separate sentences. Okay, so however is used to express the relationship between two separate sentences. Yes, I have two separate sentences here. Okay, guys, what is the function of however? Is it continuous? Is it contradictory? Is it cause and effect? However, we use it to express what? Yeah, of course, you know, however, is used to express contrast. Here we have contrast, here we have contradiction. Okay, so they used however here between these two ideas, just check the pattern of however in the first example. Guys, they said the selected time. This is the first sentence, I'm done with the sentence. So I have to end it. Okay, I'm done with the first sentence. I have to end it. How to end a sentence? Uh, it's a uh, follow stop or a semicolon. Both are uh, the same, okay? So I'm done with the first idea, end it, full stop. However, guys, this is the strong transition. The strong transition is used non-essentially in all cases. So we just need a comma after, okay? In, in all cases, by the way, there should be a comma next to the strong transition because it's used non-essentially, okay? Okay, so however, comma, he didn't, Admit it's a new regulations. Here we have the second idea. Guys, the first idea, the senator joined the committee, then he didn't admit it's a new regulations. I, I have these two ideas here. He joined the committee. He didn't admit it's a new regulation. Yeah, he joined, but he, he, he didn't accept their regulations. So in this case, what is the relationship? It's contrast. So however is used here correctly. They are not testing the function of however, they are testing the pattern. Guys, for the first one, I have two ideas. So the first idea, we have to end it. How we said, there are two ways to end any sentence. One, full stop, two, semicolon. So before the strong transition, or if the strong transition is used between two complete sentences, we have to end the first sentence. How to end full stop or semicolon. This is the first thing you need to know about the strong transitions pattern. Okay, after the strong transition, there must be a comma. Why? It's non-essential part. Strong transitions are used non-essentially. No, one second. I just want you to clarify. What does it mean non-essentially? Guys, cross out, however, okay? We're going to cross out just like that. Cross out, however. Cross out. Read the two ideas. Is there anything missing here? The senator joined the committee. I didn't admit it's a new regulations. Do they make sense? Uh, are they um, full thoughts? Are they complete ideas? Is there anything missing here after crossing out, however? Nothing. Both are perfect ideas. Of course, Yusuf, that's the point. So here in that case, guys, what do we have? In that case, I have two ideas. And here we have a relationship between them, okay? This relationship is expressed using however. 
However, is used non-essentially. That's why there should be a comma after however. It's non-essential part used at the beginning of the sentence. So you need to end the sentence before it using full stop, semicolon, and after it, there must be a comma. Guys, these are the first two placements, the first two patterns you need to know for the strong transitions. Before it, end the sentence. After it, we need a comma. Okay, let's see what do we have next. Guys, the following placement, as you can see, however, here is placed in the middle of the second sentence. However, here is placed in the middle of the second sentence. In, in the middle? Yes. So how to punctuate it? It's non-essential part. How to punctuate such a non-essential part? We need two commas on both sides. We need two commas on both sides. It's non-essential part in the middle of one sentence. So we need to place it between two commas to express that it's non-essential. Okay, the fourth placement, guys, the fourth pattern, what do we have here? What? However, placed by the end of the second sentence? Yes, here we have, however, placed by the end of the second sentence. Okay, so guys, in this one, if we're going to check what do we have here, uh, how, how to punctuate, however, by the end of that sentence? Guys, it's used by the end, so we have to end the sentence. Okay. Here we need to end the sentence. Okay, Salma, we're back to it. Okay, so here I have, however, by the end of that sentence, guys, by the end, so we, we must end the sentence. How to end it? How to end a sentence? We said it, if you remember in one and two. To end a sentence, we, we may end it using full stop or semicolon. Both are correct to end. Okay, before it, there should be a comma. Why comma? Because the strong transition is used non-essentially. It's not essential part in my sentence. Have it by the end, comma before it, then we just need full stop or semicolon. Okay, back to number three. Okay, back to number three. Guys, three. Where do we have, however, here in that sentence? Do we have it at the beginning of the sentence? Do we have it by the end or in the middle of a sentence? It's in the middle of a sentence. Guys, what did we say about the strong transition? Are they essential parts in my sentence or non-essential parts? Are they essential or non-essential? Perfect, they are non-essential parts. Everyone, how to express that this part is non-essential? Is it possible to use a specific pattern to express that this part is non-essential? This part could be crossed out and it makes no difference with my sentence. It doesn't affect the grammatical structure. Excellent, Jenna, that's the point. I just need to place it between two commas in case we have it in the middle. So Selma, in that case, I just need to place the strong transition between two commas. Why? To express that this transition is used none essentially in the middle of my sentence. So in that case, two commas surrounding the strong transition, okay? So guys, here in these five examples, as you can see, I have the three different placements. At the beginning, in the middle, by the end. You should know them. By the way, these are the, the, the five patterns. Nothing else, okay? We have nothing else. Only these five patterns. You need to know them, okay? Two patterns if placed at the beginning. One pattern if placed in the middle and two other patterns are placed by the end. And just to know it, if you're able just to get the idea, yeah, you're gonna understand everything here. You'd know how to punctuate it wherever the strong transition was placed. Guys, I have the strong transition at the beginning of that sentence. You must end the previous sentence. How to end it, full stop or semicolon. And after the strong transition, come. I have it in the middle. It's not essential part in the middle, surrounded by two commas. We're done. I have it by the end, which means you have to end your sentence. How to end it? Uh, I'll stop or uh, semicolon. Okay. But before it, there should be a comma. Why? It's not essential part by the end of my sentence. So there should be a comma before. Okay. So here we have the five placements or the five patterns you need to know. Guys, one last thing you should know about those patterns. I just need to know what could be the function 
of the strong transition? What could be the function of however? We said the strong transition expresses that here we have a relationship between two ideas. What are those two ideas? How to identify them? Everyone here, however, is used to relate the containing sentence to the previous sentence. And the second, however, is used to relate the containing sentence. Containing means the sentence that contains the transition, okay, to the previous sentence. And the third, I have however here in the middle, do you remember? However, here is used to relate the containing sentence to the previous sentence. What? The same? Yes. Wherever the strong transition is placed, it's still the same function. The strong transition is used to relate what? The containing sentence to the previous. Again, the strong transition is used to relate the containing sentence to the previous. The containing sentence to the previous. Containing sentence to the previous. This is the relationship. The strong transition is responsible for to express the relationship between the containing sentence, the sentence that contains the transition to the previous one. Okay. So in all cases, I need to check the containing sentence and the previous one in all cases. But one second, in, in four and five, I have, however, by the end of the sentence, it's supposed to relate the following. No, 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 no. No way. In all cases, it's the containing sentence, the sentence that contains the transition to the previous one. Okay. Guys, um, be, before moving on, I just want to answer that question. Are you ready? Let's see what do we have here. They're testing the pattern in, in question um, 36. Okay, so here in this one, we just need to know what do we have. Um, by the way, is it possible to eliminate any of those answer choices before doing anything, before reading anything? Is it possible to eliminate any of those answer choices? Perfect, Jenna. That's it. Guys, we already have five patterns. Okay. In case we have anything else, eliminate. So here we may eliminate. Yes, that's it. Eliminate D. Of course, we're going to eliminate D. We don't have this pattern here. Okay. So eliminate D. Okay. Guys, we're just having these three options. Uh, guys, the first option, what does it mean? To have, however, preceded by comma, followed by semicolon. Guys, what does it mean? Who can identify the placement of however, if A is correct? Excellent, Jenna, that's the point. Guys, again, in A, I have comma before it, and uh, then semicolon. So in this case, if A is correct, that means, however, here is placed at the beginning, in the middle, by the end. Preceded by comma, followed by semicolon. If A is correct, that means, however, here is used or placed by the end of the sentence. We must be able to identify it. We must be able to identify it. Okay, if um, B is correct, what does that mean? If B is correct, what does that mean? However, preceded by semicolon. No, I'm talking about B, the second option. Perfect, Yusuf, that's it. Here, the second option, I, I have it here. It's, it's preceded by semicolon, uh, followed by comma. Check what we have here. Preceded by semicolon, followed by comma. So in that case, Yes, however, is placed. Um, yeah, it's at, at the beginning, at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. If C is correct, I have it between two commas. Yeah, I already know this pattern. Between two commas means here we have, however, yes, placed in the middle of one sentence. Guys, in all cases, in all placements, what is the function of the strong transition? The strong transition relates the containing sentence to the previous sentence. The containing sentence to the previous sentence. 
the containing sentence to the previous sentence. Again, the containing sentence to the previous sentence. Please never forget that. Never forget that rule. The strong transition is used to relate the containing sentence to the previous sentence. Guys, this question is going to be all yours. You need to identify the perfect placement for however. Where should we place however perfectly here? At the beginning, in the middle, or by the end? How to identify it? It depends on the relationship. Okay, so in case. A is correct, that means the containing sentence, guys, this one now is going to be the containing, this is the sentence that contains the transition, okay, contradicts the previous sentence, okay. In case, however, should be placed at the beginning, that means the containing sentence contradicts the following idea. In case C is correct, that means, however, must be placed in the middle. and starting from that sentence from okay like i tell culture it's just one sentence related to the previous sentence so you just need to identify the contrast here between which ideas then you'd be able to choose the correct answer guys this question is going to be all yours okay you're going to have all your chances to choose the correct one then we're going to discuss it together for that question you have 50 seconds then to be discussed 50 seconds and text your opinions here in the group chat. Hurry up. Okay, so far we have all the options. We have A, B, and C. Okay, guys. Now, to answer this one, we just need to identify what could be the relationship here or the relationship here, okay, could be between which ideas exactly? The contrast here. Um, is it between the first idea and the second? Or the second and the third we just need to know it okay so guys first of all just to know it uh, however is it placed in the middle when we say however is placed in the middle that means these two parts before and after however are just two parts of one sentence so okinaga doesn't make such decisions all historical designations must be approved by a group of nine one second guys here we're talking about two ideas these two parts are not just two parts in one sentence these are two complete ideas so in this case it's impossible to be c however here is not placed in the middle i have two ideas two complete ideas on both sides okay guys here in this one when we said however it could be used in the middle 
just check what do we have here he did it after it admit it's a new do we have to complete or full thoughts on both sides no 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 no. they're just two incomplete parts these two parts complement each other but both are not complete sentences here in that case both sides are full thoughts so in this case it's impossible to be seen okay now i need to check where to place it by the end of the containing sentence or at the beginning of the following sentence. The relationship here, guys, the contrast, the contrast, is it between the first sentence and the second, or the second and the third? If we're going to check the first idea, what do we have here in the first idea? Um, here we're going to check what do we have here with our next reader, Muhammad. Let's check, what do we have? I just need to identify whether we have the contrast here between the first sentence and the second, or the second and the third. Let's check the first sentence, Muhammad. What do we have here? Sociologist Alton Okinaka sits on the review board task with, with adding new sites to the Hawaii Register of Historic Places, which include Pil Pilani Hill. Yeah, they are giving examples in this part. We may skip. Okay, so here they are talking about the historic places. Okay, Okinaka sits. Let's check what do we have next. Okay, Naka doesn't make such de decisions. What do you All think? Do we have now? Now we just need to stop here, okay? Because this is a full thought. Do we have contrast between the the the, the first idea and the second? No, I think it's between the second and the third. Okay, now we need to check the second and the third. The second. Okay, Naka doesn't make such decisions. Mm -hmm. All historical designations must be approved by a group of nine other experts from the field of architecture, archaeology, history, and Hawaiian culture. Okay, in the second idea, they are talking about something that Okanaga didn't do. So, to add another idea that contradicts this one, it must be addressing Okanaga the same. So, in this case, the contrast here, is it between the first and the second, or the second and the third? The second and the third. Okay, that's tempting. But actually here, the third, it's talking about a different idea. It's not just contradicting this one. Back to the first idea. They said, connect okay, it's on the review board task with adding new sites to the Hawaii Register of Historical Places. Then they said Okanaka doesn't make such decisions. So oh, yes, here, so it has to be, be between the first and the second. Yes, here we have both. We have two different directions about Okanaka works. So in that case, it's between the first and the second. We're not done. Now I need to place, however, where? At the beginning or by the end? That may determine the correct pattern what do you think by the end excellent by the end so the correct pattern here should be uh, i think it's either a or b but i'll say it's b okay back to this part by the end how oh it's a it's a yes good job now it's correct here we have it in a perfect Muhammad. that's the point okay those parts or doing those questions at the beginning could be a little bit confusing. Once we get used to all of those patterns, once we memorize them very well, everything will be super easy. And those questions are gonna be time-saving questions. Okay, so guys, here we have a question. Why it's not B? If we're going to choose B, that means however is placed at the beginning of the third sentence. If however is placed at the beginning of the third sentence, that means the contrast here is between the third sentence and the second sentence. Now the third sentence is gonna be the containing sentence. It's the one that contains the transition. Okay, so containing sentence contradicts what? The preceding sentence, the previous sentence. Okay, do we have contrast here between these two ideas? It seems that these two ideas are not related to each other. So in that case, th there is no contrast here between these two ideas. 
okay but the first idea and the second idea the first one something okay like i did uh the second idea something okay like i didn't so in this case here we have two different directions both are related to the same so lists. so in that case i have contrast here between the first idea and the second i need to use however to express that contrast between these two ideas so it should be placed in the second sentence placed in the second sentence by the end means that it relates the containing sentence to the previous one both are related and both actually are contradicting each other so that's why we have to place it by the end okay guys talking about transitions we're not done one last thing here you should know it how to answer transition question everyone back to the very beginning here we're just talking about the types of transitions their functions they are used to express relationships some of those transitions are used to express that here we have similar ideas some others are used to express that here we have contradicting ideas and the last group is used to express that one action is the result of another so how to answer the, those questions everyone here we have the process step one read the containing sentence and the previous sentence what yes 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 remember these patterns up there we said the transition is used to relate the containing sentence and the previous sentence so we just need to check what do we have here and this one the containing sentence and what do we have before it there are two ideas we need to check to identify the relationship between them depending on the relationship we'd be able to choose the better strategy. in case we have similar ideas that means we have continue relationship we need a continuum in case we have different ideas contradicting ideas that means we have contrast relationship we need a contradict in case we have one action as a result of another action that means we have cause and effect relationship and we need one of the cause and effect transitions so guys to answer those questions there are two ideas we need to check the containing sentence the sentence that contains the transition and the previous sentence okay we need to identify the relationship whether it's continue contrast or cause and effect then we're going to choose the fittest transition so i just need to read two ideas yes the idea that contains the transition the containing sentence and the previous sentence the transition is used to relate the containing sentence to the previous you just need to check both okay why to identify the relationship between them whether it's continue it's contrast or cause and effect depending on that relationship would be able to choose the fittest transition okay let's see what do we have here guys in that example or in that exercise here we need to check the two ideas to identify the relationship between them then we're going to choose the fittest transition to that relationship okay here we're going to our next reader and here we have Salma there are two ideas we need to identify the relationship between them out loud go ahead uh, in the past Coffees were blended to suit homogeneous popular taste. Many different coffee flavors are now being produced. Okay, we just need to identify the relationship here between these two ideas. Is it continue? Do we have similar ideas? Is it contrast? Do you have different ideas uh, or cause and effect? Uh, it, it's similar. It continues it okay what do we have in the first idea coffee blended yeah and how many taste popular yeah. one one yes check the second idea many different flavors, flavors are now being produced so here in the past and 
Now, in the past, was only one popular taste. Now, uh, many flavors. What do you think? What could be the relationship here? Is it continuing? Is it contrast or cause and effect? Cause and effect. So we're, we're having many flavors because in the past, the, there was only one taste. Is it the result of it? In the past, one taste. Now, many flavors. Contrast? Yes, that's it. Here we have contrast. In this case, we need to choose a contradictor. What do you think? Which one here could be used to express contrast? Is it for? Is it but? Is it and? Or so? Uh, but. Yes, good job. Here we have it in B. This is the fittest transition for that relationship. Okay, that's it. Uh huh. Let's see what do we have next, guys. Again, we have two ideas. We need to read them. We need to identify the relationship between them just to be able to choose the fittest transition. Our next reader. Here we have a more. Let's check what do we have in this one out loud. Uh, researchers are unable to drill into the Earth's core. Its chemical composition remains a mystery. What could be the relationship here between these two ideas? Um, cause and effect. Excellent. Yes, they are unable to drill into the Earth's core because its chemical composition remains a mystery. That's it. The correct transition here should be B. Excellent. Or yes, Taimor. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's it. It's B. It's B. Here we have it in B. No need to change our mind here. Yes. Back to that table. I need cause and effect. And yes, this is the perfect answer for it. Okay. Good job, guys. To avoid such confusion, as we said, we must memorize that table. These three classifications, we must memorize them very well. Okay, let's see what do we have next. Three, and here we have our next reader. Yusuf, let's check what do we have here. What could be the relationship between these two ideas? The Taj Mahal is ready as one of the eight uh... Is regarded as one of the eight wonders of the world. Some people believe that its architectural beauty has never been surpassed. Okay, so what could be the relationship here between these two ideas? Uh, continue. Perfect. Yes, both are addressing the same idea. It's continue. So. Mm, indeed. Good job, I have it here in C. Yes, they're trying to emphasize the same idea. So here we have it in indeed, perfect one, Yusuf. That's it, okay. In the group chat, yes, Jonah, perfect. Doing very well here. Let's check what do we have in the next example. Our next reader, Hamr. Let's check what could be the relationship between these two ideas, out loud. Uh, music serves no obvious uh, purpose. It has played a role in every uh, known civilization on Earth. Hmm. What could be the relationship here between these two ideas? Um, so I think uh, it's contrast. Excellent. Yes, it's contrast. That's it. I need a contradictor. Uh, however, A. Yes, perfect. Number. That's it. Here we have it in A. That's the one. Okay. Let's see what do we have next. Here we have Jenna. Let's check what could be the relationship between these two ideas. Out loud. Two ideas. Out loud. Modern technology offers remarkable opportunities to self-expression and communication. Uh, it offers many possibilities for distraction. Um, it's con it's a continuer. It continues the same idea. So, um, for for instance, is it okay. C? That's good, but we just That's need good, the, main the main focus of each sentence. Okay, the first one they said, okay, modern technology said offers modern remarkable technology opportunities offers for, what? for what? Self-expression and communication. It offers many possibilities offers for, what? Possibilities for what? Distraction. Uh, continue? Uh, continue? No, it's contrast. Of course, I need a contradictor now. I need a contradictor now. Um, alternatively? Good job. Yes. Good job. Yes. Okay, thank you. Perfect, Jenna. That's it. Okay, guys. Alternatively, let's say it's it's not um, you know commonly used, but 
we, we already have it here, okay? Back to that chart, back to this one. Here we have it at the beginning, alternatively and alternately both are used to express contrast. We must memorize that table, okay? Let's see what do we have next. Um, here we have um, number six and our next reader, Mariam. We need to identify the relationship between these two ideas. Go ahead. In order to save an endangered species, a preservationist must study it in detail. Scientific information about some endangered animals in uh, scarce. Yes, is scarce. Okay. Scarce means rare. Okay. They, they don't have enough information. Okay. So what could be the relationship here? Is it continue? Is it contrast or cause and effect? Um, is it contrast? Perfect. Previously, they said they have to study it in detail. Then they said that they don't have enough information to study. So it's contrast. Perfect. However. Yes, good job. That's the point. Here we have the only contradictor. Yes, perfect, Mario. Okay, next, Muhammad. We need to identify the relationship here between these two ideas. Let's check what we have here. Pyramids are most commonly associated with ancient Egypt. Many people are surprised that to to learn to learn or to learn mm -hmm. uh, that the Nubians who lived in modern day Sudan constructed a far greater number of pyramids than the Egyptian Egyptians did. Okay, what could be the relationship here in this paragraph? Um, Continue. Okay, the first idea, what could be the main focus here? About uh, the pyramids are most uh, mostly associated with ancient Egypt. Yes, talking about pyramids, uh, of course, we're talking about ancient Egypt. Okay, what about the second idea? Um, it talks about how people are surprised uh, that the uh, Nubians who lived in Sudan created a far greater number of pyramids. Than the Egyptians. So, so uh, cons uh, contrast. Uh, you know what? We're getting closer. Uh, so here they said people are surprised to learn that the Vians constructed far greater number of pyramids. Why people are surprised? Because uh, it's uh, because they commonly like uh, thought it was associated with ancient Egypt. So the second happened as a result for the first one. Oh, so In it's a case, cause and effect. Yes, that's it. It's cause and effect. Now I need cause and effect transition. A. Good job. One Here second. we have it today. Yes, Muhammad. Perfect. Here we have it today. Okay. So, guys, to identify to identify the relationship correctly, you have to address the main focus of each sentence. How to address the main focus of each sentence? It's the main verb. Okay, the, the main verb is the key of the action. Guys, by the way, the verb is the action. Okay, so to identify the two ideas, the two main focuses we already have here, you just need to make sure that you have spotted the, the two main actions. Okay, so surprised was the main action of the second idea. So I just need to know how surprise could be related to the previous idea. And now it's cousin. Okay. Next, number eight. Next reader, we have here Selma. Uh, modern chemistry keeps insects from raging crops, removes stains, and saves lives. Constant exposure to chemical chemicals is taking a toll on many people's health. Uh, it's uh, contrast. Perfect. And. Uh, However, yes, good job. Here we have it indeed. Done. Okay, that's it. Um, nine, here we have Taimur. Let's check what we have in nine. In the Middle Ages, furs often attracted large crowds and led to rioting. Authorities were reluctant to grant permission for furs to be held. I think it's yeah. cause and effect. Perfect. That's it. And? And, uh, Therefore, yeah, good job. Here we have it. It's therefore perfect. Okay, it's a good one. And here we have 10 last one and our last reader, Yusuf. Let's check what do we have here. 
skill man skilled managers are in high demand. Management professionals with the right experience are could and credentials are currently some of the most sought after professionals in the world. Mm. Uh, it's continue. Yes, perfect. Yes, it's continue. And indeed. Yes, good job. Here we have it in indeed. That's it. Perfect. Okay, good job, everyone. So for today, we had transitions. Okay, talking about transitions, talking about one of the most commonly tested skills here. Okay, just one module, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five questions testing transitions in just one module. I have two modules. That means as an average, there will be something like nine or 10 questions testing transitions. We must be completely familiarized with those transitions, their functions, their punctuation patterns, and the process to answer those questions. Here we have three groups of transitions. Guys, we must study them very well. We need to be able to classify them perfectly. Here we have five different patterns. We must memorize them as well. We should know them very well, okay? And the difference between these three placements, uh, here we have, of course, the table. We're done with this part. We said we must study all of those. We have to memorize all of those uh, transitions and classified in that table. And by the end, they're gonna find the process. Just study this one. Then you are actually required to answer this exercise once more. Guys, to restudy everything, this is going to be your assignment for today. You need to restudy everything, okay? We had today, and this is going to be your assignment for today, including answering this one once more. Okay, so in our first session here, we're done with the transitions. In our next session, inshallah, there will be another uh, skill, one of the most commonly tested as well. We're going to discuss in detail just to do the same we're going to discuss the general rule the we can say most commonly tested cases and the process for answering its questions so everyone for today here we're done wish you all the best and see you next saturday inshallah uh, mr yes uh, can you please uh, send us the recording on uh, whatsapp on the whatsapp group Yes, of course. Yes. Once or none, the link will be texted to your WhatsApp group. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Have a good okay, day. guys. Okay. You too. Okay. okay. Guys. Thank you, Mr. Have a good day. You too. Thank you, Mr. Okay, guys. Ma'asalama. Bye bye.